Good morning. If there's one thing that's guaranteed about learning to play an instrument, there will be times where you feel that you're stuck in a rut, that you're stagnating, that you're not learning, or you don't feel that you're learning as quickly as you should be. You become disillusioned with the whole thing. This happens to absolutely everybody, and it'll happen multiple times throughout the course of your your, your sort of adventure with the harmonica. Don't panic. There are strategies we can use to address that. And I'm going to look at, I don't know how many I've got here, nine or ten little suggestions that could help you out here in the hope that you can get a little fire started under you if you're stuck in a rut and continue with understanding and remembering why you started this thing in the first place. Here we go. First up, get away from tab. This is the curse of modern learning. Everyone's got tabs and little documents. I produce loads of them. And it ends up people sort of leaning into their laptop, which is awful for posture anyway. And reading the tab becomes part of the experience of playing. And it shouldn't be. When you're playing, you're playing. You're not reading from a tab. This is assuming you're not doing some sort of mad classical piece, right? In which case, you're probably reading the score anyway. Uh, but for traditional harmonica styles if you think about any of your harmonica heroes or people you've respected and think about the things that you admire about them i very much doubt the first thing that pops to mind is oh they they're really mean when they lean in and really read those tabs while they're playing okay doesn't happen chuck the tabs next up play in a different environment if you're anything like me you've got a little place that you can go to and play and you probably play there a lot. It's your safe space, it's your woodshed. That's really, really cool. But it's really important to play in different environments, every now and then at least, because it lights a fire under you. Things feel different. Uh, things sound different. You've got different things vying for your attention. Playing outside is really interesting because suddenly you're, you're very exposed, even if you've tried to find a place where there aren't a lot of people. Um, you know, it all adds up to a different experience and just that change of environment can be all it takes just to nudge you away from the rut you were stuck in. This isn't always possible but if you can possibly play with other people every now and then it works wonders. Not only does it highlight areas uh, weaknesses in your playing you might not have been aware of but it will inspire you to learn more and better for the next time you get to play with other people even if you just got a mate who strums a few chords on his guitar or you know someone who plays a bit of piano or something like that it's what the whole thing's about really and if you're not used to doing it you should seek out opportunities to do it as soon as possible even if you don't think you've got such a great skill set it's really valuable and it can be inspiring and it can make you uh excited about learning so that the next time you go and play with people, you're going to do a better job of it. On a similar note, uh, open mics and jams are fantastic. If you're really nervous, you've never done it before, don't even tell anyone you play. Just go down and see what it's all about, okay? You might feel, you might feel confident enough to want to play something. Here's the thing. At open mics in particular, people aren't used to hearing harmonica. Or if they are, it's because a guitar player's blowing on it Bob Dylan style while he's playing but if you get up and do a little bit of harmonica stuff even if you might not think it, it's fantastic if you've got any skills whatsoever people will love it I promise you it'll go down really well and once you've burst your bubble of performing in front of people on a stage no less that in itself is inspiring and it should uh, again lift you out of this rut or light fire under you or give you the prod you need to move on and if all you ever play is blues stop play something else just stop playing blues for a week time it deliberately do it to yourself put a mark on your calendar or something if you have to no blues explore something else there is a world of harmonica playing that you haven't explored howard levy still has places to go right there, there there's no shortage of stuff to learn here and what that does when you do something completely different you develop your understanding of the instrument more 
you become more aware of uh, different ways you can push it, different things it's capable of. And then when you come back to playing your blues, you've got all this new information which you can use to influence what you're playing. If you're stuck just jamming away on 12 bars, try something else. It will open your eyes. A lick you've learned or a bit of music that you've learned is not, that isn't the final thing. That isn't the only thing it can be. That isn't the only shape it can take. What I mean by that is if you have a simple lick like something like that, and you know that lick and you've played it loads, try doing something different with it. Stretch it, pull it, use a different technique. So, that's the lick I played. Um, I'm going to try playing it. I'm going to throw some octaves in. How about a shake? If you're not used to playing with tremolo, add tremolo on everything you play. Whatever you can do to push something you already know into a different area is fantastic. And that's really what you should be doing uh, as a blues player, taking other licks that you've heard and making them your own, okay? Playing with them, making them work for you. This is tr this is tremendous fun, it's creative stuff, um, and it's where a lot of the joy in harmonica playing, for me, comes from. So remember, just because you've learned something doesn't mean that you're at the end of learning about that. You can take it, you can push it in other directions, you can stretch it, you can kick it about on the floor. It's all there for you to play with. And that creativity, right, that, scope should be well it is for me it's it's inspiring and it makes me want to it makes me want to dig in and um, it has certainly gotten me out of a rut or two in the past related to the last point take something that you already know and do it better most people learn something really simple uh, first position folk melody or something when they try to learn to play the harmonica so you probably learn something like And you might have taken ages to get to that point, you know, after picking up the harmonica just to play that simple melody. But if you've been playing a bit more, go back to that and use what you've learned in the meantime to turn. Into something like. You know, world of difference. That is useful for a few reasons, but one of them is that it shows you how far you've come. It reminds you that even though you're stuck in a rut at the minute, there was a time that you couldn't push something simple like that out of yourself and through the harmonica. You can now. That's yours to play with and to make it sound nice and to use your new skills to play something simple and play it well. Playing something simple and playing it beautifully is so much more powerful than playing something complex and half assing it. Most importantly, save till last, there is supposed to be an element of fun in this, or at least you're supposed to be getting something out of it. It's supposed to be fulfilling or uh, en enlightening or something. I very much doubt that the reason you thought, oh, I know, I'll try and learn to play harmonica is because you thought it would be a wonderful way to be annoyed and angry all the time, <laughs> though. <laughs> Although it does do that quite well, but that's not the point. If you stop having fun, give yourself a break, do something else. Uh, you know, be kind to yourself. There's no law that says you have to learn to play harmonica. You don't have to do it. If it's making you miserable, don't. You'll probably come back in a couple of weeks full of renewed enthusiasm, uh, raring to go after, after a break. Use some of these things that I've suggested here. Hopefully uh, other people can chime in with comments and whatnot on things that have worked for them. I just think it's such a common problem getting stuck in a rut. It happens to everyone and there's a way through it always. Okay. So I really hope that was useful or inspiring for people. 
and enjoy playing and I'll see you again soon.